Hi, Sue Wilson, and I have a card today showing you how to use some of your adornments with your larger frames. We'll be using one of the new stamps that matches the die. This is the fretwork frame, and that will match your Hamilton die, which is this one right here. We'll also be using the center of the Wellington from the New Zealand collection. And this one is out of our configurations range. It's called the Magnolia Adornment. It's quite pretty. And then the frame has been created from our Noble Die range using our double pierced squares, both the set, uh, the original set and the set B. So let's move these out of our way. and We'll do a little bit of stamping first up. So I've got the fretwork frame here on an acrylic block. I'm going to use a clear perfect medium to ink it up. And we'll give it a nice tapping all the way around it. Get it good and inked. And then I'm going to take the white card to the stamp. Place it down and just give it a nice rub over the top. I just find it so much easier to stamp things I'm going to cut out this way. Okay. I've got some true white embossing powder. We'll bring that in and let me just get a piece of copy paper to put underneath us. Sprinkle that. Tap that up a little bit in the center there. You can see we're just going to melt that. So let me pop this back into our container. There we go and bring in my heat tool. And you can see the powder change and get shiny. There we go. Okay, pop that to the side. Let's move this out of the way. Now I've actually got one I've done that's nice and cool, so I'm going to bring that back in. Grab our Hamilton die, and we are going to cut this into a frame. So I'm going to layer that over it and pop it in with some tape. And there's a bit of a um, an edge that the dies have around the design which I think gives it a really nice, pretty uh, white edge sometimes. And I want the inside of this one. We're going to cut a frame. So we'll pop that in right into the middle of that. There we go. Tape it into place. Give it a cut. You hear the cracking, that's perfectly normal, especially with dies that are not detailed, they're just single cut edges. Okay. Take this out. And we're going to make that pattern pop a little bit, so let me show you what we're going to do. Take that, and we have a nice frame with our stamped image there. Put these back into the area there and bring in our color clouds. Now this is the barely there color cloud. It's a really pretty soft color. Okay. And we're going to just ink right over this. So your white embossing powder will act as a resist and it won't allow the ink to go in there. So you will get that pattern coming up really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's set that to the side. So pretty like that. So what we need to do now is add a little bit of mounting foam to the back of this just to raise it up for some dimension. Pop that all the way around. And let me get one more here. There we go. Okay, so we'll come back to that in a few minutes. Okay, so that's ready to go. Now, I want to tie in the color on my card with the color cloud too. So what I'm going to do is do a little bit of inking around my matte piece as well. 
and the color clouds are absolutely brilliant for this. So you can just ink the edge, bring that same exact color in there because I didn't have any, another piece of card that matched very nicely with it. And this is a lovely technique that you can do to make all of your um, edges tone in beautifully. And you can see how nice and smooth the application is of that ink. The smoothies will not give you a, an edge and the ink has a beautiful consistency so it gives you a, a really lovely um, smooth finish. So we'll do all four sides of this. Okay, there we go. Now I will go ahead and put my mat and layers together and then we're going to work up from there. So I've already gone ahead and done some piercing. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to that. We'll pop that on. Make sure I don't have any ink on there. There we go. Okay. Pop that into place. There we go. Bring in my back layer and we're going to do add that on using a bit of mounting foam. And there we go. Okay, so now that's nice and sorted. So the next thing I want to do is bring my frame and my adornment over. Now what I've done is cut four of the magnolia adornments. And I've got a double frame using the A and the B set of the noble pierce, double pierce squares here. So I've done four of these, cut them out, ready to go. And I'm going to put them on the inside of each of the edges here. So we'll pop one on each edge. And I think if I just lay that up, I can probably pick that up nice and centered. Let's see, there we go. Looks good, we'll do this side. And center that right across it. There we go, just catching the edge of that. Peel those off and we'll pop that one so we have a little bit of crisscross right in the center. Oops. And do this one. Okay, and I'm just going to bring another piece of backing in pop that right into place behind it. There we go. And I didn't do a measurement on this. So I'll sh tell you what size frame I've done. The outer frame here is seven and an eighth square. And I've done a smaller one here, which is six and an eighth square, just so you have a measurement for that. Okay. So I'll do a little more glue on the back here. Pop that into my mats and layers, and then we'll do our sentiment. There we go. So I'm going to put the center in that. So don't worry about that popping up at the moment. So I've got this one I've done. A little bit of a um, uh, sentiment here. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. I want to do some inking. So I think what I'll do is bring back my color cloud. Just do a little bit of inking around the edge of this. Very, very lightly. Bring in that same really pretty color. Okay. But I want to put a sticky sheet over this. So what I'm going to have to do is to give it a quick blast with the heat tool to make sure it's nice and dry. There we go. And these little itty bitty bits, I keep telling you, don't throw them away. They're absolutely perfect for your sentiments. Pop that right over the top. There we go. And peel off the backing. Oops, let's get a hold of that. There we go. And let's bring in a piece of copy paper and our diamond snow. So that will show through really nicely with that. Now if you wanted to, you could also um, do this sticky adhesive sheet put the diamond snow and do the inking over the top. So if you decide later, you think, oh, it needs a little bit something else, easily done that way as well. So I'm going to use the frame we've created earlier, peel off my mounting foam, Oop. 
get a hold of that. And we're going to add a bit of glue to the back of that because we have some glitter there. Bring that right over the top. Center that nicely. Give that a second. Come in with my scissors. Cut away the extra. There we go. And because I wanted that to have just a little bit extra added dimension to it, I've created a frame using the inside of both the outer cutting edge here on the inside from the Wellington and the inside cutting edge on the Hamilton. And that creates a beautiful little frame like this. A little bit of mounting foam around the edge. Here we go. We'll bring our card back over. And I think I'll just add a little bit of glue underneath those and some on the back of this. Pop that right into the center. And you have a gorgeous framed sentiment there with those beautiful magnolia adornments just peeking out from underneath it. I hope you like today's card. <laughs>